You can see this is the area over the front hallway entrance. You have two columns made out of two by fours that need to be replaced. Looks like he took a piece of sheathing, or tongue and groove rather, and then he threw up a two by four as a girder and then supported it with two two by four columns. And it seems to be leaking right alongside the front and leaking back into the house. The front walkway might be pitched over. And then we have the one of the floor joists that's not sitting on the sill because the sill is actually rotted away. It's going to be joist hanged or the sill is going to have to be replaced right there and then have to fill in some concrete filler below that so the sill has something to rest on. But this girder and two by four columns here are going to have to be replaced because that's improper load bearing. And then if we work our way to the rear of the house, we have your AC air handler unit that's missing a drain pan beneath it. You can see all the rust here starting to pour on the floor because they missed a drain pan. So the drain pan should be installed with an overflow switch. It shuts the air handler down in the event that you do have water that leaks from your air handler unit. And then if you look at the rear here, you can see where they have one of the joists that's not resting on anything, just has nails that are nailed back into that ledger board there, which the ledger board should be bolted back into the block and that joist should have a joist hanger on it because it has no end bearing on it. And then you can see in the front here, this is the front of the house that we're looking at now, has walls that are all super saturated. The walls are becoming saturated from what I believe is the downspouts not being piped away at the front. Let's see this wall over here. I've got to... I don't know how good my, uh, my camera is here, but you can see better with this wall. What you're starting to get is starting to get efflorescence. It's when the live and the calcium chloride starts to push back through the block and starts to decay the mortar. This is all going to need to be waterproofed with a waterproofing foundation material probably from this section here all the way around the front pretty much right back to your mechanicals back here is all starting to form efflorescence because your downspouts are pouring up directly against your building and super saturating your front wall alright if you have any questions you can contact me my cell is 914-774-5025 again that's 914-774-5025 thanks